Hey there and welcome to another maths how-to video. In this video we will learn how to multiply fractions. By the end of it we will be able to do questions such as two-thirds multiplied by four-fifths and we will understand why the answer to it is as it is. Before we launch into the questions I just want to say one important thing for, the, for this video. This here is the multiply sign. And when we use it, we can state our questions as follows. For example, two-thirds multiplied by four-fifths. That's what this means. Or we could even say two-thirds times four-fifths. But today, we're going to actually use a third definition of this, or a third word for this, two-thirds of four-fifths. And this is quite an important one for today. The multiply sign in maths can mean of. And this is going to help us solve these problems and understand the reasons the answers are as they are. Copy the next two examples and at the end there are two questions for you to try yourself. Here's example one. One half multiplied by three quarters. Now we're going to convert this in our head to one half of three quarters. We are going to use the of definition of the multiply sign. And we're going to model the problem. We're always modelling these problems rather than learning rules. To do this, if we want to work out a half of three quarters, we need to know what three quarters is. So let's model three quarters. Let's draw ourselves a square. And we want to represent three quarters, and then we're going to work out a half of it. So what we're going to do is along the top, we're going to divide this square into quarters. And we want three of those quarters. So we are going to shade in three quarters with a different colored pencil. So we're going to shade that in there. And this represents three quarters. OK, now what we want to do is we want a half of the three quarters. So we want a half of what we've shaded. So we better divide it vertically into halves. And we're going to want one of those halves. We're going to want, say, the top half. So we're now going to shade that in again, maybe with a line this time, a different colour. So we want one of those halves of three quarters. Now, we have answered the problem in a picture because a half of three quarters, well, how many boxes have we shaded twice? One, two, three. It must be equal to three out of how many boxes do we have in total in a whole? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the answer to this problem is indeed three eighths and we have a conceptual understanding of why that is true. Okay, let's try another one, slightly more complicated. Two-thirds multiplied by four-fifths. In our head, we're going to think of this as two-thirds of four-fifths. And we want to model the problem. So, to work out two-thirds or four-fifths, I need a picture showing four-fifths. So let's draw a square again. So here's our square, and we want to represent four fifths, so we can work out two thirds of it. So we're going to split the box into fifths. So one, two, three, four, five. As follows. Okay, so they are fifths, and we want four of those fifths. So let's colour in four fifths and what we've shaded now represents four fifths so this here represents four fifths now we want two thirds of the shaded area of four fifths so what we're going to do is we're going to split the box into thirds vertically so something like this and we want two of those thirds. 
So we're going to want two of these thirds. So we're going to want two sets of these of the shaded area. So we're going to color these this set in here. Two out of the thirds of the shaded area. And now we've conceptually or pictorially answered our problem. So the question was two thirds multiplied by four fifths or two thirds of four fifths. Well, how many boxes have we shaded twice? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Out of how many in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Eight fifteenths. And that indeed is the answer to this question. Okay, over to you now. Two questions for you to try to check you understand what we've talked about in this video. I'll check these in class. Thank you for watching.